Hey everyone, Let's Lounge here, and in this video, what I want to do is show you how to do a very easy uh, glitch effect in Final Cut Pro. Uh, this is not like a glitch transition. This is actually where you're selecting a subject from your video and making that specific subject glitch. Uh, only for a couple seconds and then returning to the uh, rest of the video. So I'm going to show you how easy you can do this. You have no plugins that you need to download, so nothing you need to buy. All this can be done directly in Final Cut. So the first thing we need to do is download our clip, and this is the clip that we're going to be playing with here. Um, and you can see I have this section right in the middle that uh, is going to be where we add the glitch effect. So it'll be playing and then it'll go into a glitch and then go back to the normal video. So uh, how we're going to do this. Uh, we're, what we're going to do is basically draw a mask around the subject and then add some glitch effects to it and uh, that's pretty much it. Very simple, very easy. So the first thing we need to do is obviously get our selection of our video that we want to add the effect to and then we're going to go over to our effects panel and go to masks and then draw a mask and just drag that over to that section. Now before we start doing anything we probably want to make a copy just in case so uh, you can do this before or after you apply the uh, mask effect but I'm just going to click uh, alt or option on your keyboard and drag this clip up to right above it so we have a duplicate and then I'm going to go down here and just delete the effect. So now this is the original clip with no effect on it and then this one is the one with the effect on it. So you can see we have where it says uh, click to add control point. I'm going to click at the very beginning of the clip, click on the clip, and then we have our pen tool. And I'm just going to go loosely around the subject. I'm not going to be very uh, super precise with it uh, because we can feather and do a little bit of fallout adjustments on the mask. So I'm just clicking around here, even on the hair. Uh, I'm not really getting crazy with the accuracy here. So just going around. And I'll speed this up so you don't have to sit through this whole part. Okay, there we go. So we have our mask drawn around this subject on the very first frame of the clip. And that is very important. You don't want to draw in the middle because you have to then go back and, and it just creates a big mess. So uh, start at the very beginning of your clip and draw around your subject. So now what we need to do is go over to our draw mask effect and click on uh, the little arrow next to transform. Uh, and then you're going to click on the little keyframe option under the position X and Y. Click there. And then under control point, you're going to click that little uh, key point or keyframe as well. Click there. And now this is the tedious part. So if you have a subject that's not moving a lot, this will be a little bit better, this will be a little bit faster, but if you're having a subject that's moving around a lot, this is going to create a lot more work for you. But either way, it can be done, and uh, what's really simple. So all you're going to do is go over to your clip, and you're going to click the right arrow on your keyboard. And when you do that, it's going to move the clip one frame forward. And then this is where you go into here and just adjust these control points. Move them around to follow the subject. So obviously you don't want a clip that is uh, super long like you know 10 seconds or something. You just want something that's um, you know a pretty short clip uh, that can get a gl nice glitch effect and then roll back into the original footage. So I'm just gonna go around here and change the points and then click the right arrow again and then see where everything has moved and then adjust the points again and just keep going around. So again, I'm going to fast forward this so you guys don't have to sit through this very tedious part, um, but just basically go around and match the key points, uh, the keyframe points around where everything is moving. Okay, so now that we've done that, everything is uh, tracked here. You can see it kind of moves around a little bit with the subject here. It's not perfect, it doesn't have to be. Uh, that's, the, that's the beauty of this, uh, this kind of effect here. So what we're going to do is just go back to our beginning clip, and now we need to find a glitch uh, glitch effect. And so I have this one right here, which I'll drag in right here. And this is just kind of a glitch effect that's going to kind of go over the subject. Uh, so I'm going to find a good spot for it. I'm going to choose this spot right here. We'll cut that out. And then we'll move it under the clip here, so right there. So now you can kind of see we have this like background glitch that's going on. Um, and uh, what we want to do is invert that so we uh, affect the model and not the background. So the way we do that is click on the uh, clip here and we're going to the, uh, the drawn clip the, with the draw mask. And we're going to click invert mask. 
So there we go. We have uh, inverted the mask, so now it's being applied inside the mask. And we're going to change our blend mode over here. We're going to change that to, um, actually, we're going to go down here to our glitch, sorry. And then we're going to go down to our blend mode and change it to vivid light. Uh, kind of like that, kind of kind of neat, kind of blends in a little bit. If you don't like how dark it is, depending on what clip you have, you can actually move uh, your uh, kind of glitch effect around to see um, how it affects your clip. So see now it's kind of a little bit lighter. Uh, we can also change the blend mode to overlay, kind of like I did there, uh, and it creates a little bit lighter of a, a transition, but we can also go back to uh, vivid light and it kind of gives a little bit more of a harsher feel, kind of a more, a real more staticky feel. So I'm gonna stick with Vivid Light, but you can play around with the position of your glitch. Now just to finesse our selection here, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna change our feather a little bit, uh, just to kind of feather out the selection, change the fallout a little bit more. And this is just gonna help out with the, uh, the rough selection that we did. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but um, it will actually help a little bit with the fallout and the, uh, the feathering of that clip. So now what we need to do is create a duplicate of this uh, glitch layer. And we're gonna go up here and we're gonna drag it up and we're going to apply a uh, standard effect that's in Final Cut. And that is under the stylized option and it's the bad TV effect. We're gonna click and drag that over and it's affecting pretty much everything outside of the selection. What we wanna do is just move that above and now it's affecting uh, kind of stuff inside. Uh, but what we need to do here on this top clip is change the invert mask. So now it's affecting everything right there. Uh, again, we can play with the feathering, play with the fallout. Uh, just to kind of get that effect a little bit cool, but you know, it actually works out pretty good that it's not a precise selection uh, So it actually works out pretty well. So uh, you can see here. This is basically our effect So if we play it it glitches like that and it goes back into the original clip Now what you can do is get a little bit creative with it and add some music to it uh, so we'll drag in uh, a quick a quick clip here. We'll cut it down to match uh, kind of match the beat so where the beat goes in I really want that beat to hit on that glitch effect so right around there and we actually will go ahead and grab a glitch sound effect as well a lot of these you can find on um, on many sites I've actually purchased mine uh, but you can find these on many sites here so uh, I'm just gonna drag it right there and here is our final effect All right, guys, thank you for joining me in this Final Cut Pro tutorial. Head on over to letslounge.com, and you'll get a whole lot more tutorials there, gear reviews, all kinds of stuff there. So thank you for joining me in this video. See you in the next one.